Nigeria needs to align with the growing number of countries around the world that have demonstrated their commitment to stopping poaching and illegal trade in wildlife. President Board of Trustees of the NCF said this on the sidelines of the Foundation 2022 Annual General Meeting. He also said one major milestone achievement of the Foundation is, was in 2021 and was launch of the new Strategic Action Plan 2021 to 2025, which is a call to practical action by the foundation, as well as Nigerian across communities. The NCF said the demand for efficient action is supporting biodiversity and livelihoods, contributing to upbringing in the SAP 2021 and 2025. It also believes that there's need to increase public awareness programs to disseminate messages that could lead to attitudinal change. Illegal trade in wildlife is a major driver of species loss. Thus, Nigeria needs to align with the growing number of countries around the world that have demonstrated their commitment to stopping poaching and illegal trade in wildlife. If conscientious efforts are not made, we may soon lose some of our endemic species such as Ibada Malimbe, rock firefish, and its brood parasite, the just plateau indigo bird, an ambra waxbill, white throated monkey, etc. This fear motivated us to intensify environmental education, both in the city and among the locals. We have also renewed our strategic partnership with relevant government parastatals, which has now enhanced our prospects of expanding the coverage of our conservation activities unhindered with the required support. Part of our observations about the reasons people care less about nature or continue to continue in practices that are destructive to the environment is ignorance of the adverse effects of these activities on nature. Hence, we increased our public awareness programs through ensuring that we use all environment days to disseminate messages that could lead to attitudinal change. 